Hello everybody, uh, today I want to concentrate on the difference between most of the CAD CAM uh, techniques for lingua orthodontics and the sure smile technique uh, which I will explain to you later. I don't call it a technique, I call it technology. Uh, I want to thank uh, DGLO for inviting me to lecture here in Berlin. Uh, I want to thank all the uh, executive council and the organizing committee. Uh, it's a great honor for me to be the second time in the lingual meeting, German lingual meeting. Um, I want to thank my uh, staff. Um, I have a very nice uh, staff in my clinic. I want to thank my uh, wife and four children. And I want to thank my father that uh, passed away uh, last uh, month. And he is my inspiration to becoming a dentist and an orthodontist. Uh, I've published until today a uh, few books and I edited a very distinguished journal. Uh, two of the books are on lingual orthodontics and you can find a uh, gathering of all explanation on all techniques from all over the world by the best lingual clinicians. We talk and talk and talk about customizing our treatment plan. We want to have individual brackets, individual wires, and individual treatment plans according to the patient preference, according to his face, according to many factors that has changed during the last years. There are many ways that lingual orthodontics uh, went throughout the years. Uh, one of them is uh, doing a very precise setup. Uh, there are uh, technicians all over the world that are very expert in doing this setup and uh, enable you to vision everything on a plaster model uh, with a very um, um, skilled technique. Uh, this is a very complicated technique and very difficult to do all the changes. Uh, this is a laboratory setup. There is also today uh, some tools like the accurate bracket positioner by Adenta and Pablo Eshari that aim to help the, every clinician to do all the setup in his own clinic and not to use um, a laboratory, very complicated laboratory. There is also um, a combination of indirect bonding and robot. And uh, Dr. Sili, who is a good friend of mine and he's also lecturing in this distinguished congress, uh, will explain about the ortho robot. Uh, that's another uh, way popular to do all this indirect bonding. There are also numerous uh, CAD CAM um, customized bracket techniques. Uh, there is the initial incognito, and then the harmony, and then uh, the Indian guy uh, 3D, and then e-brace, and win, and lingual liberty, and um, all of them are aimed to do the revolution because everything is customized to the patient teeth and to the patient mouth. The question is, does uh, WIN, which is today the hot new thing that Dr. Vishman is um, uh, producing, uh, is it really the revolution? What actually moves teeth? Does Invisalign, with all this clean check that they have, with all this very complicated R&D that they are investing in doing all these attachments, to do rotations and intrusion and torque and everything. Is this the true revolution? CAD CAM indeed revolution. Full control? No. We have no control. We cannot influence this software. We cannot actually know what happened if we will move one tooth here and one tooth there to look and to vision and to measure and to taste and to feel and to do all the testing. This is done by companies who are, uh, who make, makes us to be their slaves. When everybody is doing something, it doesn't mean that it is right. Sometimes when very few people doing something, you should look at it and try to see why very few people invest their time and money 
to investigate into doing something very, very unique. And uh, that happened many, many years ago when everybody thought that the Earth is flat. And we know today that only very few people who realized that the Earth is round were the right ones. What moves teeth? What moves teeth is only force double distance. It can be with a wire, it can be with clear liner, but forget about that the brackets with their shapes and their flatness, this is what will influence the teeth movement. Who should plan the treatment? The only one that should plan the treatment is you, is us, the doctors. And, and we forgot about it. It's very convenient that we take impression and somebody is making the uh, treatment for us. But it's time that we come back into be, uh, to be real, true orthodontists and plan the treatment ourselves. Let's follow the, the uh, steps that we will cover this uh, today in the lecture. One, technique. Which technique is the best? Second, planning. Uh, we should have unlimited options and get immediate feedback on all the implications of every treatment plan that we come with. Speed. How we can shorten the time of treatment. Everybody is talking about shortening the time of treatment. Then accuracy how we can ultimate our plan, how we can be sure, especially in lingual orthodontics, that we do one bend in the wire and we will get the movement in the mouth. We want to stay in control and we want to be able to change our treatment plan if needed. It's very nice that uh, Harmony or Incognito or Win or Invisalign, they uh, force us to be um, very uh, precise in our treatment plan and decide on all the aligners from the beginning or on the, all the wires from the beginning. But what happens if something happens? What happens if, if brackets fall? What happens if we change our treatment plan from non-extraction to extraction? We want to be able to stay in control. We want to be able to have a team approach to do consultation with our colleagues, with another orthodontist, with another periodontist, surgeon, and etc. in a very communicative way, not just send pictures by email. And what about finishing? Lingual orthodontics, one of the main, or, or maybe the only problem today, is a finishing. What if something gets wrong and we don't get what we planned with all these beautiful brackets and wires? And last is the price. We want to come back to bases. It's impossible that every technology that comes into the market put the prices of our treatment to be crazy and this influence the ability of our patients to do the treatment. Now, when we speak about technique, technique, there are many techniques. Look at these commercials. All of them have beautiful girls in them. None of them need orthodontics. They all smile. They all have lingual brackets, but they are not true patients. So what do I learn from these uh, commercials? That I should go for the most beautiful blonde hair girl? When you compare technology and technique, I think that today I want system that provide me with the technology. The technique is not important. Sure Smile is today for me the most advanced uh, technology. But if tomorrow another company will provide the same technology or even better one, I have no problem to shift because I don't want to be binded to technique. There are, in, in uh, the Sure Smile which I'm using, which I'll explain you in a minute, there are more than 1500 bracket types. There are many slot types, many combinations you can make. If I want to make my own bracket design, like uh, a bracket that was designed in China last uh, month, I can send it, scan it, and put it in the library. I can combine buccal and lingual. I can combine different lingual brackets on the same arch, different from the front with a bite plane, different from the back that are very small with horizontal slot. I can uh, choose tubes which comes from buccal but are very convenient for me to put in lingual, and then scan them all together in a very 
um, uh, affordable way. I can coordinate wires of buccal and lingual. Which system can do it for you? None of them. So why not to work with multiple systems? Planning. There are unlimited options to do uh, our planning in the sure smile technique. After we do the scanning, which can be done on a model in the mouth with CBCT or without CBCT, in order to get everything transferred into the computer, uh, we go and uh, pour it into uh, or uh, print it into a silicon model, uh, which we have immediately uh, in order to feel like all orthodontists with a true model. Uh, we have the same model on the computer and then we choose what, what type of bracket we want. You have all the list of brackets, all the list of slots. Uh, uh, you can do self-ligating or non-self-ligating like this one by Adenta. Then we go to the computer, we apply the brackets we've chosen and we start to do our treatment plan. Our treatment plan is combined not only by our uh, orthodontic uh, knowledge, but also by our, by our aesthetic vision. Do we want the centrals to be longer than laterals? Do we like the arch to be expanded? In the sure smile, we can see exactly what will happen to the bone if we expand the arch. You could look actually in the CBCT and see if you take the roots outside of the bone. Once we have completed to do all the setup, and this setup is a virtual setup, I didn't bond any bracket yet on the mouth, I can export this into a 3D uh, model. You can see here the before and after. And once it is exported to 3, 3D model, you can see the brackets, uh, the virtual brackets comes on the printed model. I can prepare the tray, move it into the mouth, you can see here the case before, you can see here the case after putting the brackets that were virtually placed on the computer and putting a preformed nickel titanium wire. Then after around two months we do the scanning, you can see here the powder scan, the alignment has already started. Then we go back to the computer, we plan the treatment on the SureSmile software and then after we get the computerized wire, we put them back in the mouth and this case was finished in around four months. This is not usual for lingual orthodontics and this is not because any uh, sophisticated, customized individual bracket. It's just our mind here that planned exactly the treatment and ordered the wires bended to this treatment. Here is the occlusion we got and you can see here uh, how tilted these central were and how upright they are now in around four months. This is not usual, not in orthodontics in general and especially not in lingual. Speed. How we can shorten the time of treatment, which everybody speak about it. Let's, you know, do a revolution in the time of treatment. Uh, we don't want, and one of the beautiful things that I've realized in Sure Smile that I have almost no back and forth. I have almost no try and error. Every treatment that I plan, every movement that I plan, if, of course, you plan it correctly, and this is something that cannot be transferred in 20 minutes, uh, when you do the treatment properly, then you get precision. If you get precision, you shorten the time of treatment. And most of my treatment time now is around half of what they were before, only because I spend 80% more time on planning and 20% on the treatment itself. Uh, that's a case where you can see this patient arrived to my clinic after she had previously orthodontic treatment not in my clinic. And you can see she's class 3, she has a crossbite in the right side, but her main problem is she's a lack of space to do an implant in the area of the right upper cuspid and uh, she's about to go to the army in two months and, uh, or three months and she has to finish everything very quickly. So uh, I do um, the virtual planning to see exactly what I want to do uh, and see if it's possible 
and we do here some simulation of the movement, this very small movement that we planned. And you can see here the upright that we planned for this uh, implant in the area of the cuspid. So what we did here is uh, we did some bonding of uh, upper and lower ORG brackets. These brackets are by 3M, very simple, very uh, uh, cheap. And all this was done in four months. You can see here the upright of the roots here and over here. And this is done uh, actually in four months. I don't know any, uh, I didn't know any previously any technique including incognito and e-brace and other CAD CAM technique that I've done that I got this precision in such a short time. Accuracy, how we can ultimate our plan. Now, you can see here a case that um, um, was very, very difficult, very challengeable, especially that this patient doesn't live in Israel, she lives in Romania, and I had to control it in remote control. I came to Romania a few times, but most of the treatment is done by remote control. She has lack of space in the area of the cuspids to do implant, and she has over eruption of the two molars. You can see the upper uh, right and left first molar are over erupted and need to be intruded in order to do restoration in implants in the lower arch. Now, uh, doing all the, this uh, movement of the upright and the intrusion of the molar uh, is very easy, uh, easily done on the computer. And the question that you should always ask yourself, because this is exactly what the technicians of all the customized CAD CAM techniques are doing. They are moving the teeth like you do now on, the, on your own computer. And this is done by myself on my computer. I did the upright, as you can see, for every premolar. I did the intrusion. And the question is always, will this actually happen in the mouth? I don't expect magic. I don't expect miracles. I know orthodontics. I know that to do such intrusion of molar needs some anchorage help. I know that to do movement, distal movement of six, five, and four to open a space for implant at the area of the three is not an easy process. So you can see here that we get a chart of all the movements that we have done for the patient. And we planned here to do one millimeter stripping between four, five, and six. Now, I knew that I need a lot of control, a lot of anchorage. So, so there is here four mini implants, two in the palate, two in the buccal area. There is elastic chain to do the intrusion. There is also, um, some um, um, ligation of teeth in order to have anchorage and we have also the second molar bonded to get a good stability. And you can see here, this is before and this is after four months. You can see the amount of intrusion we got. You can see the opening of the space here at the uh, cuspid area. And in some uh, 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 cases we also added uh, some anchorage between the seven to the implant. And you can see here, uh, this is after five months. This is after seven months. We already have temporary crown at the uh, site of the upper right cuspid. And in the left one, you can see the distance or the intrusion we got at the uh, uh, posterior area because before we did the treatment or the temporary lower restoration, was in contact and you can see how much intrusion we got here and how much good control. This is what I called accuracy of our treatment. Uh, this is done uh, just last month. She still have the brackets but you can see already two implants are in place and everything is nicely in control and she will be debonded in around two months which means around nine months of treatment which I think is amazing in all terms of uh, all parameters. Stay in control and change treatment if you need. Now, you can see here this girl, uh, she came to my clinic when she was 16 and a half years old. Uh, you can see that she has a very um, uh, class uh, two face 
uh, with retruded mandible. Uh, she has uh, obtuse nasolabial angle. Uh, she has incompetent lip, retruded chin, and asymmetrical nose and chin. Uh, this, for me, with this um, uh, cephalometric analysis and with her uh, enlarged open bite, she bites only on the six and seven. For me, that was definitely a case for orth orthosurgery. This is my knowledge. This is the records that I got. I had no option to do simulation. Uh, I could, of course, send her to do a, um, a laboratory setup. But this is not actually gives us all the numbers, how much movement we are doing for every tooth. Because the, the, the setup just take the tooth, cut them, and put them into contact. Uh, this is how she came to my clinic eight year, uh, almost 10 years later. That was 16 and a half, this is 26 and a half. And you can see that actually the only thing that changed between 16 and 26 is she did a nose operation. That's the only thing she did according to my uh, recommendation because she has some nasal obstruction. This is the 10 years difference between 16 and 26. Here she is at 26. You can see the constriction, the open bite, the protrusion, everything you can imagine. And again, I said, I think it's going to be um, uh, auto surgery. But I was ready to transfer. By the way, this is how she was at 16 and how she was at 26. The occlusion stayed the same. The only thing was changed is the nose. So I decided to scan the case into sure smile, uh, put upper lingual brackets and lower buccal brackets. This is what the patient wanted. And then we, do the, we did a simulation with the help of the sure smile technicians and myself. And we looked exactly how much movement we can get. And the beautiful thing you can do with the sure smile software is to do an overlap of her uh, face and smile and teeth and see what will be the difference, what change and how the lips will uh, live with this new treatment plan. So after we got a very positive feedback from the software and from the movement by planning an upper premolar extractions only and lower stripping, this is the result after around one year treatment. You can see here the improvement. She's still in treatment. You see the occlusion. You can see the leveling of the gingival line. You can see uh, the shape of the arches. And the most amazing thing that you can see is a smile. Look what happened to the smile of the patient without doing surgery and without uh, the need to um, do any um, dramatic change for a patient who was really afraid from this procedure. Team approach. Consultation is one of our basic uh, daily uh, thing today. We want to do consultation with our surgeon, with our team, with our colleagues. Sometimes we have satellite clinics, so the patient moves from one clinic to another, and we want to be able to approach his treatment plan and change and all the wires and do everything we want. This is uh, done today very easily by the software of SureSmile, which is now on the cloud. So you get a, a password and you can approach it from every, uh, everywhere you want. This is an orthognatic case. You can see definitely this is not a compromised case. But the beautiful thing that I want to show you here is how treatment was planned on the software with planning exactly the cut we did for the maxilla. And the doctor got numbers exactly of how much we advanced the, the maxilla, how much we had to rotate it and tilt it. And this was planned not by some company for us, it is planned by me and the surgeon. We did some testing, we look at the face, we look at the bone, and he got an exact numbers. Not to speak about the beautiful thing after surgery when two arches coordinate like butter. And this is a case after surgery, and this is his profile 
and everything was done in a total one year. Finishing. What if something gets wrong? This is a very nice case I've done with a sure smile, uh, opening a space for an implant of a missing upper right lateral incisors. You can see that the cuspid is almost touching the lateral. So there was a lot of planning to do to open here the space for an implant. But you can see here that although the space is open, the roots are still a little bit tilted and needed to be upright in order to put an implant. So you can see here, very easily, done by myself, not by the company. I go to the software, I do the tilting, look what happened to the wire. The wire now is tilted because of this upright. All I need to do, press enter and I get new wires that will do this uh, uh, movement for me without touching all the rest of the teeth that uh, looked quite nicely. The last, which I want to finalize my lecture, and the message is back to basis. Our pricing is too high today with all the amazing technologies of CAD CAM techniques, which I'm sure that in this meeting uh, in Germany is the leading uh, uh, um, in, in all uh, technology and techniques in lingual orthodontics. But I think that we pay too much and we are not in control and uh, this is what Show Smile gave me is the option to come back to basis. I don't want to get into prices but you can know yourself that when you use your own brackets and you do the simulation yourself and you have a control and you can order as many wires as you want for a treatment plan, that means back to basis. I want to thank you very much for inviting me and I hope to see you again in one of the uh, Lingual German uh, users meeting. Goodbye.